Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round three of the Philadelphia System Open. We have Ronald Brennan versus Christoph Sotelo. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get up our Choose Your Champion poll here in a moment. If you've never participated in our Choose Your Champion poll, it's really easy. All you got to do is type one or two. One is a vote for Ron. Two is a vote for Kristoff. One is a vote for Rebels. Two is a vote for Resistance. One is a vote for Boomer. And two is a vote for Zoomer. I'm sorry if that meme offends you. Not sorry. I lied. We're having a good time here. We're here to have fun. We're here to watch some X-Wing. And we're here to get your votes. Vote now. Do it. I'm not telling you that you don't have a choice. I'm telling you that you should just do it. Because it's the right choice. I am voting for what I want. <laughs> Honorable Joust, maybe. Maybe. So let's go ahead and break down these lists. Ronald Brennan brought Lando, Luke, Wedge. That's pretty much it. All naked, just leaning on their abilities. It's really good. Double actions for Lando. Quite solid. One could be a coordinate type, basically getting Wedge uh, you know, a focus or a lock, whichever one he didn't take. Uh, or giving himself target lock focus. And Luke, he just mostly target locks, right? Because he has the force. So that's what we're... Uh, what we're doing. I think just want to double check. I think he forgot about his force tokens. Let me go ahead and get him some force tokens before we get too far here ahead. I'll be right back. All right, guys, get your votes in. And no range there. <clears throat> Jared says, I think the second vote nullifies your first, right? Nope, it's the first one. Once you put your ballot in the box, no take backsies. All right, and let's go ahead and break down Kristoff's list. He's got Ch resistance, Chewbacca. Neon Num with heroic S foils, pattern analyzer, and black one and heavy laser cannon. Finn with just heroic in the pod, as well as Rose Tico with heroic and C3PO. Now let's go ahead and break down some of these abilities uh, that are less common. So Rose Tico in the pod says, while you defend or perform an attack, you may reroll up to one of your results for each other friendly ship in the attack arc. So, with that wording, that means that when she is attacking, if she's got friends in her attack arc as well as the enemy, for her, she gets a reroll for every enemy, uh, every friendly ship in that arc. And the reverse happens when defending. Pretty awesome ability. Good, um, good opportunity to to get lots of rerolls, especially with uh, her positioning, which is right here. That second one, that dark blue paint scheme. And then we have uh, Finn, whose ability has been eroded. I guess it really the, the timing of, uh, of how strain is removed has been, has been uh, reworked. But while you, perform, while you defend or perform an attack, you may add one blank result or gain one strain token to add one focus result instead. So uh, while having a focus, able to hit pretty consistently, pretty hard, you take the strain, add the focus, and, you know, you can end up with two hits, even four hits, uh, two, to, two to four hits, depending on your range and opportunity. Chewbacca allows you to perform an action and 
a bonus attack after a friendly ship is destroyed. Those pods are pretty big targets because they can hit really hard if you ignore them, which makes it so that uh, a lot of times those pods are going down before Chewbacca because if you ignore them, uh, then, then, then the pods are just eating you up while you try to take down that uh, you know, this 11-point ship. A vote for one is a vote for Rebel Lando. Let's show Rebel Lando our support. I see that Reality Lemon is uh, <laughs> is what's campaigning. That's the word I'm looking for for Lando. S foils are open. On Kristoff's side. Right now, looking at the polls, Ron Brannon, the Rebellion, is ahead. Kristoff choosing to bank Chewbacca in, going hard at wedge. Lando with his arc currently forward. Decisions, decisions. Deciding on the ability after performing a blue, excuse me, after executing, fully executing a blue maneuver, you can perform an action. He is giving Wedge a barrel roll to the outside. Probably guessing there's a bank maneuver in there, trying to get out of range of those pods. Only trading sh shots with one ship. Regular action here for Luke. Target locking Lando. Looks like uh, Lando took a, excuse me, uh, Chewbacca. The locks are behind the ship there. Here we go. Spends a lock, crit, two crits, going into Nian. Spends a focus, no damage. <clears throat> Nian's up. No HLC. All shots probably going into Luke. It's the one you have four arcs on. Range three into Luke, see if you can burn some of those force tokens down. One hit. Safe. Luke Skywalker's up next. Range two has a lock and two force available. Hit crit. Hit, hit, crit. And whiffs there. All three shields are down. Lando, range one. Took the target lock. Two hits. A little below average there. And no evade. Takes two more. Two in the hole. One away from half. Chewie, range two to Luke. No progress so far over there. Just trying to get something going. Hit crit. Takes a shield. Luke is a very defensive ship. Every damage matters there for sure. Uh, 
All right, Rose with two re-rolls, doesn't need them. Two hits. Uh, has one more dice. All focuses. He's going to go ahead and use both force there. When Finn attacks, he gets one at force back. <clears throat> All right, range three. He's going to go ahead and add a strain, spend the focus, make it hit, hit, crit. Use the one force for two, takes a crit. That's still just a shield. So let's get that second shield off of Luke. And we'll go ahead and hide the dice for now. Want to remind you guys that we're running on convention internet. And convention internet isn't always uh, very robust. Is that, is that the nice word to, to use? Robust. I'm all, I'm all like so, <clears throat> I'm debating trying to switch to. I feel like, ah, uh, but I don't, don't have good service here. In Chicago, I can usually pull off uh, mobile internet, but that's not a thing that's going to happen here. Reality Lemon, is co is convention internet even better than not having internet? I mean, you could just not see anything. I think that'd make you sad. I could be wrong. Maybe you wouldn't be sad. Eight bit deity doing the work here. Thank you so much for gifting 20 subs. That's awesome. I'll be right back, guys. Got to got to go help help a friend. You're good. <laughs> 8-Bit Deity getting all the props. Getting the, the brand new sub gifting alert there on the bottom left. And we're coming together. Look at all these, look at all these awesome people being gifted subs. 20 of them. That's awesome. Oh, Reality Lemon. I, I, get, I get you. Um, I have found that convention internet has never been quite very good. Uh, rarely. Rarely good. All right. One forward to victory. Or one bank to victory. All right, using the coordinate shenanigans with C-3PO, which allows you to coordinate. So it says, while you coordinate, you can choose a friendly ship beyond range two. Huh? I said my brain clearly doesn't work. I can't find a stream. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, guys.
All right. Papa's back. Had to help a player out. My friend Travis Johnson Johnson forgot his strain token. So I borrowed him a strain token. I can confirm that Chris Allen, uh, Tim Allen is a bit diddy. That's funny. All right. And Lando taking the two bank. That might just barely fit. It sure does. That's a range one into Rose Tico. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Debating the action. So movement action is going to be rotate. And sorry, his own action was a rotate. He's, kind of, he's doing a monitor. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> but uh, so his ability was the barrel roll to Luke. And his action was rotating the arc. Let's see where he's where's he going? Looks like he might be going all in on Finn. Nian can also take all three shots as well. I guess it depends on where Wedge went. And Wedge does get blocked there. On the East Coast, we are nearing the end of some people's work day. But don't worry, guys. I won't tell. I won't tell if you're watching from work. Give me a dot, dot, dot if you are, quote, unquote, totally not watching from work. All right, here we go. Range two into Finn. Hit crit. Finn gets one die. Cuz wedge. Oh, fuel leak. Oh, he was strained, so no, no agility there. Get that fuel leak on there. Range one on Finn. Three hits. That seems good. He's going to spend the force to guarantee it. Actually, there is a chance if he natties right here. Not today. So Ron making sure to spend that force to make sure that Finn gets taken off the board. And I was incorrect in saying that no matter what, Finn was going to die initially because with the Finn ability, he could have added a focus. And assuming he had two other focus results, you know, done, uh, modified all of them. In this case, he got two blanks, added a blank for free, re-rolled them all with heroic, and uh, came up just short. I will say I'm a fan of Ron's list. It's actually very something very similar. I flew at the beginning of first edition. <laughs> I love seeing <laughs> Reality Lemon. No, uh, no shame. I'm watching from work. A lot of dot, dot, dots, though. Oh, 
Jesus. This internet's killing me. All right, going range two into Lando. Range two into Lando. Three hits. Takes all of them. That was a bonus attack with Chewie's ability. Here is the... Hit crit into Chewie from Luke. It's a wounded pilot. He's got two shields left there. Chewie's regular attack. Two hits. And that is Lando down to one shield. Range two from Rose. Two friendly ships in arc equals two rerolls. But spins a calculate. Takes another shield here. And that's on wedge this time. Again, want to apologize here. The internet has been a bit unstable. Doing my best to lock it down. I'm trying to lower, lower our uh, our output, seeing if I could stabilize it a little bit. Uh, Chewy, if you guys missed it, Chewy did get the bonus attack after Finn died. Uh, was able to do a few damage to Lando, and then got one more after that. So Lando's down to one shield there. Shields are down on Luke Skywalker, one shield down on Wedge. On the other side of the board, Nia Num is alive and well, no damage taken there. Chewbacca has uh, just a plethora of cards on him. At the moment, that is half points. And we, I did miss the crit earlier as I was trying to uh, fix some things on our side. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look. I'll be right back. It is a wounded pilot. For those of you who don't know what Wounded Pilot is, that's when you perform an action, roll a dice on a hit or a crit, take a stress. 50% chance to take a stress token after taking an action. And I don't know if you guys saw a minute ago, we had the uh, droid invasion gif pop up on that bottom left-hand corner. That is somebody subscribing to our YouTube channel, which is totally free and an easy way to show your support to Gold Squadron Podcast. Easy way to pledge your allegiance. I mean, show your support. Um, <laughs> we are, we're on the track trying to get to 10,000. We're at 9,548 subscribers on our YouTube channel, trying to get to that 10K mark. If you want to help us out, we'd greatly appreciate that. So 
So at the moment, Ron Brandon leading 64 to zero. Luke Skywalker one away from half though. And that's a chunk of points in that ship if Kristoff can manage to get him off. Rose is still full. Lou the lunatic needs to get a million for that YouTube plaque. I think the first YouTube plaque is at 100,000, which would be cool. I mean, I don't know if we'd ever actually get there. Gonna have to work on really pushing, uh, pushing X-Wing worldwide. FFG, let's go. <laughs> All right, Rose moving up, looking to threaten Wedge, or at least take away his actions. Just going to go ahead and calculate. That's after the... Uh, the coordinate from C-3PO. So after performing a coordinate, you can, the coordinator is allowed to get a calculate token. And did that clear? It sure did. Oh, party foul. It's fine. This is fine. How are you? One focus placed there next to the ship rather than throwing at the ship. And Talon roll. Will Nian Num's ability trigger here? It will. So when you receive a stress token with Nian Num, if you have an enemy ship within range one of your arc, it clears the stress. Also, Pattern Analyzer gives you an action after performing a red maneuver. So Nian is essentially able to do like three actions because his wings were closed so he'd barrel rolled okay he barrel rolled focus with the linked action his wings are closed at the moment plus his normal action because the stress tokens went away whenever he got them because he had enemy ships in his front arc that's three actions if you don't know how if you don't understand that whole interaction you can actually watch our quick tips video on it that's on our YouTube channel. And I've been asking people, ask, saying, like, where, where have been the quick tips, Dion? You know, we had Worlds. We had so many events. We had the World Tour. just so many games we were uploading that I uploaded a couple of, uh, a couple of videos. Oh, Rose the Crit. Ron Brandon losing that shield. Uh, videos were just getting lost. So they, they're on hold right now until Christmas will be our, our first quick tips in a while. But we did do one on Pattern Analyzer and Neon Numb. So you can look that up on our YouTube channel. All right. Lando giving the action to Luke, which is a barrel roll. Luke closing the S foils before he reveals his dial. Too hard. So Luke is out of danger, at least from Nian Num, uh, but will be facing down Chewbacca and Rose. And the boost while the wings are closed is trying to get out of arc. That should f get him out of Chewie's arc. Rose still going to take a shot there. But, of course, Wedge is available to, uh, to do God's work there. Oh, unless it bumps. And it sure does.
Wedge has a range one shot into Chewy. Chewy has no defense dice. That seems good. No mods, baby. Two hits, two crits, and Chewbacca can't do anything about it. Chewbacca going down there with that last shot from Wedge. And in his dying breath here, performing an attack. Four hits, I mean, that seems fair. One of eight, three go in. We are trading some paint this time. Down to two hole there on Wedge. Chewie's gone, 98 to 28. They're just talking about Rose's ability there at the table, explaining how it all works. Hit, hit, crit. Natty's is a legit strategy, guys. Spends a calculate. Hit, crit, blinded poly. That means Rose, Rose's ability is blank now. Blinded pilot taking away those modifiers unless you got the force. <clears throat> Two dice because the S foils are closed. Spends a focus for hit crit into Lando. And that crit is going into the hole. And it is a direct hit. So more more points scored right there for Kristoff. This is 115 to 68. Again, want to apologize for the internet issues, guys. I'm actually going to test running it off my phone here in a little bit to see if maybe we could, you know, get get something a little bit more consistent. Because right now, this, this, what we got going on right here, it's no fun. Ha, ah, I only got one bar on my phone. Jeez. We can try. I know it's not my fault, guys, but uh, it's it's still it bothers me. You know, I want to make sure that you guys have the content. You know, I fly all this way, take time for my family, and then the internet doesn't work. It's quite irritating. So, doing the best we can. Hopefully, we can keep it going. Sorry, I was I was laughing. Uh, Spoon Spooner one said the convention also has only one bar. Apparently, all right. First maneuver here. And that gets over with the bank maneuver. Clears the stress from the coordinate. Again, the crit on Rose is blinded pilot.
coordinate. Shout out to 312 Squadron. That's Nick Sperry. Actually, Nick, thank, I'm glad you came in here. Now I can remember to actually uh, start and stop the recording, at least after this round. <laughs> All right. One bank. And the boost from Nian. Nick, remind me at the end of this game. I will forget. Lando trying to get out of town. That is a blue move. Removes the stress and then the Lando ability. He's going to go ahead and give Wedge a barrel roll. And the 4K. Who and that talent roll. That was sick. <laughs> I like that. All right, so Wedge range one into Nian, completely out of arc. The ace of the rebellion, hit, hit, crit. Versus one die, takes a hit and a crit. That's two shields down on Nian. Nian going range two into Lando. He's got to focus. He has a lock. Nothing there. Two hits. Takes two more. Down the four hole. We have our next attack here. This is going into Nian. Hit, hit, crit. Consistent green dice for Ron. Hit, crit, and that's going into the hole. Half points and a fuel leak. If it takes a crit, does another hit. Only one. Dice running away there and evades. Now, you have Ron's list showing the power of the abilities here for Lando, Luke, and Wedge. Just their base chassis alone are all quite good. Um, Really enjoy seeing all the abilities being used. And having Lando do his thing is absolutely, absolutely awesome. Gives you a lot of flexibility. And, um, you know, it's, it's a free coordinate every turn, essentially, if you work it right. And the whole reason you bring Lando is just for the extra actions for the other ships. It has nothing to do with the Falcon itself. Because uh, if you've noticed, Ron has not a single time giving, given for himself like a target lock focus or double action. It's always been to a friendly ship. And honestly, that exists mostly for Wedge. Give him those barrel rolls or get him target lock focus.
We are a little over halfway to our goal for the weekend. I've set a goal of 150 subs. We are at 80. Remind you to use that Twitch Prime sub every 30 days. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you have Amazon Prime, go ahead and type exclamation point Prime in the chat. Watch that short video, and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, one bank from Rose trying to get that arc on target. Coordinating the focus to Nian. Talon roll here. I feel like it's a little, little ambitious trying to get Wedge. I think if Ron, even if Ron did something like a one forward, you can boost out of the arc pretty easily. Just got to remember to close those wings. Now, Nian's ability did go off there. Gets the panel analyzer action and his normal action. I think Kristoff may have missed an action there. He could have barrel rolled with pattern and done his normal action. And Lando does clip that gas cloud again. The Mr. Kevin, I got hugs and kisses for you too. Luke getting a barrel roll here from Lando. Wedge, one banking. Now somebody was saying, uh, no, Kalahar, he did a coordinate with Rose to give to give Nian the focus. One crit only. Gets the evade. That was from Wedge. Here's Luke. Rose has two health left. Hit, hit, crit. There's a lock there. Three and a crit. Rose is off the table. Nothing you can do about that one. So this is Nian in a dream. I don't quite think he has arc there. Nian doesn't have a shot either. We're going to go ahead and get a judge for the arc check. Ooh, this is the perfect time to mention. That, uh, that D right there is using those curled paw creatives judge templates that are just a little bit longer so you can put them on ships in order to check that range three as well as clear and have the line right in the middle so you can you can do all your fancy measuring. Use that coupon code unplug2019. Two hits and a focus. <clears throat> Blank out, heroic. Still takes two. Uh, did, I don't know if that focus got spent earlier. I think Nian's down to one hole now. I mean, at this point, Ron has this game pretty much in the bag. <clears throat> Just the, the early advantage on red dice really, really helped. You know, there's always that saying, 
when two lists joust, somebody is wrong. And I think, you know, that's true. Kristoff had just as, just as many modifiers on his ships as Ron did, but, uh, but the approach made it so that Ron was able to get multiple shots into a single ship at a time. Uh, in that initial engagement, Kristoff was not able to do that. He wasn't able to get all four on target. Lou the Lunatic claiming, no, I lost a Choose Your Champion. Yeah, it happens, man. Happens to the best of us. And again, just reminders, we are on a um, uh, convention internet. So if, if I feel like this is around the time where it's been cutting off. So if, if it cuts off here in a minute, please forgive me. I will work quickly in order to reinstate the internets. Barrel roll from Nian. Focus barrel roll clears the stress with his ability when he receives it. All right, two bank. Lando's ability. One really cool thing about playing at big conventions like this, you got people who've never seen X-Wing before going like, what is this? They're walking around. And of course, having the cameras and the lights out, people people come up. It's always, you know, I come here for a lot of reasons, but one really cool one is seeing people get curious about the game because we got this camera and light. It makes it, makes it seem like a big deal, because it is a big deal. Uh, it's just, it's always awesome. Luke, one bank. That's going to be, oh, is it going to be range one? That's close. Well, he's going to go ahead and take the target lock. He's got the force. It's practically a target lock focus. Wedge, four straight or 4K? Let's find out. Oh, he's choosing violence. Here we go. Wedge whiffs there with three focuses. Nian range one into Luke. Seeing if he can hurt the farm boy. Four health left. You need some crits. You need some double damage in there. Take that, take that farm boy off the table. He's going to try to survive, hold on to the focus. And of course, Natty's out there. And two force there. That's going to be the game. Congratulations to Ron Brennan for winning this round three match, 200 to 68. Again, congratulations. Now, you guys know what time it is, or maybe you don't know what time it is. It is giveaway time. But before I forget, let me go ahead and stop the recording and restart, oh, of course, the internet crap.